Okay, next thing we're going to do is a box shooting drill. Now, most of you probably do this drill. We think we can get almost every possible shot that you can imagine out of this drill. So let's have you guys come on down in here. And we're, on this first drill, thanks, on this first one, we're working on um, our inside pivot. So as we're coming around, the drill is going to be, we set up two lines like this, and you don't have a ball. So he's going to come up the lane. He's going to make a good pivot here, and then start to lower that shoulder and turning this left foot in. So we have an inside pivot, catch the ball, and pull that leg right up into that shot. So we use this pivot as the shot begins. As soon as I put this foot down on the floor here, I'm pointing it in, trying to catch the ball and get my momentum up. So we're just working on inside pivot and shoot here. Okay, let's go. And hold up, hold up. What we could do, what I would do with this, you know, with this many kids, is I would have six guys down that end and six guys here, and we would do this competitively. We would keep score in what we're doing. So if you guys want to go down there, we'll do the same thing. I'll just work with this group, but we'll get the idea. You guys keep score down there. Keep track like to do everything competitively because the kids take it a lot more serious when there's a consequence. You know, we'll usually have a set, we'll run a set of lines if we lose. We just do something that uh, we really get our, guys, get our guys going. You know, I'm such a fanatic about repetitions that when I was coaching youth basketball, everything we did was competitive. And so what we would do is if the losers, you know, whoever lost, they had to run lines. So one day, one of my little sixth grade kids came up and said, Coach, those guys getting to run lines, we're not really doing anything. So I called the group over. I said, you know, this really isn't unfair the more I think about it. You know, those guys lose, and they get better because they get to dribble the lines. So they're running and dribbling lines. Their ball handling is getting better. You guys got to find something you can do to make yourselves better. So what they would do is the losers would go to the line and get a ball and dribble, and those guys would go over there and do push-ups and sit-ups. And we still do that to this day. If you came to my practice, Lloyd Carr, the coach of Michigan, football coach, the ex-football coach, he came to recruit one of our kids. And after practice, he was you know, stroking us about our great practice organization. And, and I didn't know if that was true or not. You know? <laughs> but I, he, on, in a press conference, he mentioned how hard our team practiced. Like, if you came to our practice, you'd never see a kid standing around. Never. It just wouldn't happen. So even when we do a drill and the losers go to the line, you'll see those kids line up and they're going to do push-ups and they're going to do sit-ups because we're always thinking that we can get better. There's something we can be doing to get better. We don't want kids standing around. So the first drill we're doing is inside pivot to the shot. Ready? Go. Get low. Rip that leg up. Count them out. Count out if you make them. One. Everybody count. Good. Count them out. Inside pivot. Get down low. Try to inside pivot. We're not jump stopping. Good. Put that left foot down and rip the foot around. Hold it up. Okay. All right. So now what we would do uh, if we were doing it practice-wise, we'd keep these totals, and then I'd say the losers would run a set of lines, winners would do push-ups and sit-ups. Okay.